Hey up and welcome to this week's Shimmy TV review. This week we're testing the 2017 Suzuki GSX-R1000 and the GSX-R1000R. Thanks a lot and let's have a look. <laughs> So both of the new GSX-R1000s come with uh, a really sophisticated uh, traction control system and ABS system. The only difference with the R is that the R comes with a quick shifter and auto blipper as standard. The other extras that you get with the uh, R model are the balance free front forks um, and the operated rear shower shock. Um, apart from that, both bikes are pretty much uh, identical. Same power, same torque, uh, everything. I really do like the look of the new GSX-Rs, um, I think they're absolutely stunning. Uh, one thing that I like about them is that um, Suzuki have kind of like, they've, they've altered the looks but it still looks like a Jixxer, um, it, they haven't kind of like radically changed it. Um, one thing that I can say about them is that they are very small uh, for a thousand. Uh, the GSX-Rs, thousands have always been quite a bulky bike. Um, but yeah, this one looks like it's been on friggin' slim fast. So the GSX-R1000, um, straight away, honest to God, it feels such, such an awesome bike. It really does. It, um, it feels just like a Jixxer. And Jixxer owners or Jixxer, you know, people who've had Jixxers will know exactly what I mean when I say it. It feels just like a Jixxer, it feels really, really nice. So the quick shifter and the uh, auto blip is the one thing electronically that the uh, R has over the standard GSX-R. And uh, it works freaking really good, really good. Even at low revs like this, third gear down second. And you know, it's not jerky or anything like that. It feels really, really nice. The display is, is uh, perfect as well. Uh, all the information it gives you, it gives you everything, um, everything that you need to see at a glance um, is uh, really easy to, to read. Stuff like the miles per hour, the rev counter, uh, the traction control setting, and also the, um, the mode that you're in, the rider mode. Uh, all of that is really easy. of a lot of power, jeez! Obviously the, the, the new GSX-R1000 uh, has got the variable valve time in the VVT and my god does it make a difference mid-range! I can't believe how fast it picks up! Around about six or 7,000 revs it, it freaking goes mental! The Jixxer uh, 1000 for me just feels instantly like a bike you could really live with. You know, you'd never get pissed off with it if you had to go on a long journey. You never think, God, I can't wait to get off this bike. Not like some. The turning circle is really, really, really tight on it. The suspension works great. I have to say, I can't really tell much difference between, um, on the road anyway, between the standard suspension and these balance free forks. I don't know if it makes a great deal of difference on the road. Nothing that you're really ever going to notice. Maybe on track you'll notice it more, but...
thought I'd let you know how my uh, first uh, 10 miles has gone on the Jigsaw. And uh, yeah, it is freaking awesome. It's so, so fast. Power wise, yeah, it's just got so much grunt from right down at the bottom um, and really, really gets going mid range. Uh, brakes on it, the brakes aren't, uh, the brakes are actually really good, but um, the lever just feels so spongy. And I think that's just down to the ABS. So I was, uh, when I was talking to Paul Curran, that's what he, he, he said. He said that the brakes feel real spongy, but it is down to the ABS. Um, however, even though they feel spongy, they do really, really work. modifications that I've had done to the GSXR since picking it up from PowerSlide are the Litec levers and rear sets, uh, the CRC fairings from Reactive Parts, uh, the Pipeworks exhaust and DCAT, Dynajet quick shifter, uh, and Paul Curran from PCR Performance has remapped and flashed the ECU uh, and added on launch control as well. The other two key modifications that I've made to the GSXR are a 520 chain um, and I've gone down one tooth on the front sprocket. The other thing, um, I mentioned before the brake lever feeling real spongy because of the ABS. PCR removed the ABS and fitted Hell race lines. With the Hell brake lines, uh, good quality brake fluid and the GP FAX EBC pads. Uh, it's absolutely transformed the feel of the brakes uh, and the way the bike stops. At the moment I'm still on stock suspension. Um, the front end is actually really really good um, and all we've done really is gone up on the preload, just made, uh, made the front end a little bit stiffer. Um, the rear shock again is, is pretty good um, but you do find after five or six laps um, the rear shock starts to overheat um, and the feel um, of the rear shock isn't consistent anymore. I'm going with a Maxton rear shock for my Jigsaw. Uh, Maxton have been doing a lot of work uh, on the short circuit and on the road scene, stuff like the TT in the Northwest, so they've already got quite a lot of data um, and uh, knowledge with the GSXR and their shock. If you're after a bike that you know is good for track use, uh, touring, racing, uh, commuting, then the GSX-R1000 um, is probably uh, one of the best bikes out there. Um, I'm struggling to find a way to fault it and um, yeah, it's going to be, it, you'd be hard pushed to find a better bike uh, for all-round use than the GSX-R1000.